All right, now I'm going to go over how to create the document to have the four versions. They're all going to be slightly different because we have different sized documents. So I'm just going to check my document size again by going to image, image size. And mine is, you want it at inches. So mine's a nice big document at inches, but the resolution is um, 96. So I want to be aware of that. Our resolutions can really are going to be all over the place with this and that's fine. It'll still work. The one thing you want to do is make sure that once you move your original document into your new document that you're not making it larger. So I'm going to leave it at 10 and then make it smaller. In my case, it's a portrait orientation, so I'm going to create my document with the height being the larger size. So we're just going to do a regular paper size document. File new and here it is, 8.5 by 11 and I have the rev resolution set at 100. If it's set at 300 it's going to make my original document um, too small and then it'll start losing quality. So I'm going to leave it at 100 and create the new document. So I can see that this one is at 100%. If I make this at 200 to 200, they're almost the same size, right? That's a one-to-one -one ratio. So if I move this in, it's going to be really big, but that's fine. Better to have it big than small. Now, what you want to do, you want to come over here and you want to save this as Pop Art Final with your name. Now I have to make guides. So to do that you go to view and you want to have your rulers on. The rulers are up here and over here. This is an eight and a half by 11 inch document. Again, mine. I'm going to put it here so you can actually see the rulers right next to the document. It also makes this a lot easier. So I want to make a guide halfway down and halfway to the middle, exactly centered. So there's a point right in the center. So I clicked up in the rulers and with the move tool I'm using my mouse to scroll down. So because that is 11, I do five and a half and then I need to do it's eight and a half so that would be four and a quarter. So now I have this center space from which to work with. I'm going to um, I'm going to move this back onto the dock so I can navigate between the two well. So now you're going to take your flattened pop art and drag it into here. And you see how it's way bigger, but that's absolutely fine. I'm going to do Command T and I'm going to keep this as large as I can but still fitting on the page. Remember, super important to always, always hold the shift down and only use the corner so that you do not have distortion. So now that is right here in the center, but I have more room so I'm going to make it bigger. So I'm holding the shift key down and dragging that. So there it is and there's a little bit of white which is fine. We'll get rid of that later. So now I have my first version in. The easiest way to do this is option drag and it might be alt drag on a PC. I'm just dragging out a copy and I can see by that little pink line they're matched perfectly dragging out a copy down here and here. Now I have my four versions so that all, all that is left to do is to go to the different layers and right now I'm on this layer but I'll see what because I again remember I have the move tool and the auto select layer on so whatever layer I click on moves me to it. So I'm just going to this one 
and I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation. Now this part's really great because remember, it's all one layer. So when I change the hue, the hues of everything change. So I want these to all look really different. So I'm going to go for that one. You know, again, if you want to play around and have one more saturated, you can certainly do that. And then I'm going to go down to this layer again, image adjustments, hue saturation. And I want to try to make them all different. So I'm going to have that one like that. And then this last one, image adjustments, hue saturation. So this one I want to be, I have like kind of purplish blue backgrounds there and orangish backgrounds there. So I'm going to try to, you know, different. That's kind of different, but his face is still blue. There's lots of choices and there's no right or wrong. That's the key. So it's just when you get it how you like it. His shirt looks too similar to me. So there we go. That's nice and different. Brighten it up. And that's it. So now I have these little white edges and we want to get rid of those just by going to the crop tool and dragging it in and it'll it'll snap you right to the edge of that you press return or enter and now you have your pop art if you want to see it without those guidelines you go to window i'm sorry go to view and you take the check mark off extras i took it off rulers extras and there you have it and now you're going to do file save as and this I only need as a Photoshop because I don't need to see the layers. I can see the layers in your work. So I'm going to save it as a JPEG, save, and I'm going to make it as high a quality as I can. And OK. And there you have it. So that shouldn't be too hard. This is due tomorrow, but in case anyone wants to do an extra, I wanted to have all the steps up for you. Good luck, and let me know if you need anything.